morning. This morning we have with us as our speaker, Theophilus Fernandez McPherson. And if any of you have walked around the building, you will know that he goes by Fernandez, that he is unusual. You ask him how he is, and he says, fantastic. <laughs> Even on a Monday morning, or Tuesday, or wonderful Wednesday. And so when I um, heard that, I thought, you know, he has to have a story. And I'd be curious to know what that story is. And so I talked with him last week, and he just shared briefly. And then I invited him to share with us today. And I think you'll be surprised at some of the things that he might share with us today. So I turn the time now over to you. Say. This morning is a, is a special morning for me this morning because I come to tell you the purpose of our Christian journey. So my, my message is called the Christian journey. Now the Christian journey, which is called joy, and each one of us is supposed to have joy. Even though it looked dark outside, sleeping outside, all the snow outside. We all supposed to have joy because joy is not something that that we put on. It's a come on. And the reason why I say this is because it's very important. Now David is my favorite, one of my favorites, because David said in Psalms 34, verse 1, 2, and 3, and he said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continue to be my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. So David know the importance of joy. And I know a lot of individuals say that it's hard, it's hard to have this kind of joy. But in Galatians 5, 22 and 23, and it become our character, which has been the Holy Spirit. And the second fruit is joy. So a person might say, oh, oh, I can't, I can't display this joy. Now, I mentioned this is not a put on, it's a come on. And that's why those, those, those false virgins, they made a mistake of putting the whole the oil aside. And when the bridegroom came, it was kind of too late for them. And they missed the opportunity of going through the door and they knocked and they knocked but it was too late so this morning the christian journey called joy now there's 12 reasons why we should as being christian we should have joy there's 12 reasons now a person might say why 12 because it's 12 hours in a day mm. and it's a clock and a calendar the, the calendar is 12 months and the clock is 12. And those 12 disciples. Amen? Mm -hmm. So now, now, and the person might say, why joy? Now joy, when we, when we dissect the word joy, joy means Jesus. Amen? Mm -hmm. And the old mean omnipotent. He's the operator. Mm -hmm. And the why means yes. The Bible says that uh, the, the, the promises of God are yea, yea, and amen. So yes, J-O-Y, yes. So there's 12 reasons, there's 12 reasons why we should have joy and not sadness. Now sadness is, is something that deteriorates the bones. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you the reason why. Because we should have joy because number one, it's our helper. Number two, it's, a, it's our Holy Spirit, our character. Number three, it's our healer. Amen. It's, it's a, it holds us through temptation. Number five, it gives us hope for the future, which is heaven. It gives us heart to encourage God's people. So it's a, pre, it's a preview of the heavenly experience. Number eight is our habitation through disappointments. Amen. Number 10 is our spiritual food when we are hungry and thirsty. And number 12, when we are hurting, we can endure with joy. Number 12, what should be our highlights in life for the next life? Now, this is not, this is not our life. Yeah. 
Now, a lot of people are, are saying this is this our final destination. It's not our final destination. There's a heaven that I'm hoping one day I'll be there. Now, let's take the journey. Can we? Now, now the Bible says in Nehemiah 8.10, now Nehemiah was right beside the king and Nehemiah was sad. And the king says, Nehemiah, why are you so sad, Nehemiah? And the king says, there's something going on because you're always happy. Amen? So Nehemiah, all through it, Nehemiah said, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Mm -hmm. So joy is our help. Mm -hmm. Amen? Joy is our help. Because if you don't have no joy, you can't get no help. Amen? You become so slothful. You say, I'm ready to go home. If I, if I, if I, if I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Because I'm, 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 I'm worn out. So joy gives you that extra strength. Believe me, it works for me every morning. Amen. Because if someone asks me, how am I doing? I'm fantastic. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm fantastic is because God woke me up this morning. Mm -hmm. God stopped me on my way. People in the hospital room wish to be my place. Mm -hmm. They lay back and look up at the ceiling and they can't move. But I have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, an individual told me that on Monday is an oxymoron to say, you know, I'm fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's Monday. It's supposed to be moony. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tuesdays is terrible. Wednesdays is wacky. Thursday. No. Monday's marvelous. Mm. Tuesday is terrific. Wednesday is wonderful. And Thursday, oh, it's terrific again. <laughs> and Friday, not just thank God it's Friday, because it's blasphemy. Amen? Mm -hmm. Every day ought to be Friday. Amen? Mm -hmm. And Saturday is super, and Sunday is just. So, that's the first one. Number, the second one is the Holy Spirit is our joy. If a person say that they they, they don't got a difference between joy and happiness. Mm -hmm. Y'all know that, right? Mm -hmm. Happiness got something gotta happen for you to get joy. Amen. But be a, us being Christian, look at Job. Job was a prime example. And I wanna be I wanna be like Job. Mm -hmm. Job lost his family, lost his material things. His wife said, curse God and die. And Job said, He's like a foolish woman. Job had a bald head, cut his hair off, went in the bathroom, and only went. He said, naked came out forth, and naked shall I return. The Lord give it, and Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So Job, through all that he went through, he still had joy. Mm -hmm. So I, I know an you know, uh, individual told me that, you know, happiness is, is different from joy. Because happiness, something got to happen for you to get joy. But if you're a Christian, my friend, glory to God, through it all, you'll still have joy. Mm -hmm. David, look, even David, David Child, died and they thought they were gonna crack up but David said no listen I can't go to the child as no the child can't come to me but I can go to the child but David still had joy and we being Christian through it all we still gonna have joy because joy is a, is a bubble inside of your heart mm -hmm. amen, <laughs> amen. And, and also the no, 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 third thing is this joy come to heal our bones mm -hmm. now I'm gonna tell you I believe the scripture because Bible said, I sent forth my word and healed them. Now, last week, my knees was giving me terrible problems. And I say, I say, Lord, you know, the doctor said they're going to give me knee, knee replacement and all this and all that. But I say, Lord, I'm depending on you. And the reason why I say that because Asa, Asa was a king. And Asa trusted in the physician and he died in a knee sickness. And the Bible say he trusted in the physician. Now, I'm not telling you don't go to the doctor now. But what happened if the doctor ain't show up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Come on now. Yeah. Amen. What happened if the doctor <laughs> cut the wrong knee or cut the wrong leg? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we gotta trust. We gotta trust in the Lord. Amen. And 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 so Asa he died. Why? He didn't trust in the Lord. But he trust in the physician. And we can't put our trust in the physician. Amen. We thank God for them. But it made a mistake now. Did you, did you, did you do too much coffee? Hey Amen. And, and, and it come over. And, 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 and come on. So our trust got to be in, in God and joy. Now, it's healing because the Bible says, right, in, in Proverbs 72 22, a merry heart does good like medicine, but a, but a broken dry the bones. I believe the word of God. He said, I send forth my word and heal them. The word of God is faster than aspirin. Come on. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. It's faster than aspirin. And I believe that because I, I am a, a walking miracle. 
when the doctor gave me up, they say, go home and die. I say, Lord, I'm going to trust in you. The next day, it was gone. The tumor left my brain. Mm. Because the doctor said, go home and die, sir. Mm. But I trust totally. And that's why when people ask me, how am I doing? My story is, God, I've been robbed three times, gunpoint, and I'm still here to tell it. Mm. One time I was robbed, I was praying. God told me, shut up. So I was moving my lips. Mm -hmm. I had 160 in my wallet, and he took the, the 100 and left me the $60. <laughs> Come on now. So, so, God, so I'm saying that God is a medicine. God's word is a medicine. And even, and, and, and it's a lot of people saying that being robbed, you lose your mind. Let the Bible say, they that keep their mind stay on me, I keep in perfect peace. That trusted in me. So my trust is in Jesus. It's, 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 not, it's not in the police officer car. What we call a police officer, they ain't even showed up. Mm -hmm. Amen. So our trust got to be in God. Our trust got to be in joy. Because joy, like messing about. And next one, another one. This joy holds us in our, in, in our trial and tem temptation. Now, Bob say, my brother, Karen, all joy on the phone is the divine temptation. And believe me, you got to have joy when it goes because the devil comes to test tempt us but god give us test to elevate us it's a different now i tell individual i know it's, it's a different subject that sin have a baby and the baby's death amen but when god gives us a test he gives us to elevate us amen and it's a difference so we gotta have joy when we go through uh, temptation because temptation is a terrible thing and that's why i don't i don't look at movies because tyler Perry temptation movie it's blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says he always give a way for escape so he can bear it. Mm -hmm. He don't make you go to the temptation. Mm -hmm. He make you deviate from the temptation, not to go in the temptation. Mm -hmm. So a lot of movies, they're not scriptural. Mm -hmm. Because God said, I'll give a way for escape so you can bear it and go through it, move from it. So joy, you gotta have joy. Another one, sixth reason, we should encourage the Lord's people with the good news. Amen. It's like, it's like, Children, we gotta have so much joy that it's a joy to give the gospel. Mm -hmm. We're not to be sad. We're to be glad because if you had experience of God save you from darkness to this marvelous yeah. light, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a joy. He made it's a joy to give the good news because the good the gospel is good news. Mm -hmm. It's the best news. It's better than child four, child seven, child nine. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because. If you turn the television show, somebody died, somebody got robbed, but the gospel is good news, and we're supposed to give it with joy, not sadness. Oh, the Lord is good to me. <laughs> no, we're gonna, we're gonna have joy. It's a jubilant experience. That's why individual asks me, I'm fantastic because what God brought me from, who oh, God did it. Mm. I didn't do it. God did it, and that's why I'm excited. Amen. Mm. Now. The next one is sadness is not the, the preview of the heavenly experience. Amen. Glory to God. Tell people in Isaiah 35 10, and the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs everlasting joy upon their head. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow, and sign shall flee away. Mm. Now, the next one is very important to all, all of us. Habakkuk was a complaining prophet. Amen. Habakkuk complained to God. But in chapter 2, Habakkuk said, I'm going to stand my watch and see what he's going to say. Then when he goes through it in chapter, in chapter uh, 318, he said, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. Now, Habakkuk recognized that. And we as being Christian, we got we to do this, right? He said, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, these shall fruit be in the vine. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the snow. Now, a lot of people might say, I'll quit, I'll give up. But he turned the story around and said, What do he say? Yet I rejoiced in the Lord. So even though, and, and, see, it's a difference between Christians and, 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 and non Christian. Non Christian would have, would have, would have, wouldn't even, they would say, I'll quit. I'm going home. I'm, I'm, I'm shutting out the shop. 
and I can say, yet I rejoice in the God of my salvation. That's why it's not a put on, it's a cup on. Amen. Because when see Jesus Christ was Nicodemus told Nicodemus. And Nicodemus, he go to God, he came to Jesus Christ by night. And Nicodemus, when Jesus Christ told Nicodemus, the wind blowed where it's listed, and thou hear the sound thereof. Where it's gold and comes, so as everyone is born of the Spirit. So the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is not a just to put it on. It's a come on. You gotta be born of the Spirit. So it's you know if you say, oh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this Holy Ghost right there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna curse this person now. I'm gonna put this Holy Ghost right there. I'm gonna give peace in my mind. I need my whole mind. I can't give people peace in my mind. I need my whole mind. <laughs> Amen. And that's why I tell people the Holy Spirit is not a put on. It's a come on. Amen. So we know that the it's, it's, you got to be born with spirit. Amen. You can't, you, you know, like those the virgin trying to go back and buy the Holy Ghost. It was too late. So this this Holy Spirit is a come on. And and uh, close to the last one, number nine. Now he say that that for they are the rejoicing of my heart. Now heart, our heart is a center, not our head. Head knowledge different from heart knowledge. And the reason why I say that, because if you look at St. John, the sixth chapter, when Jesus Christ was saying, drink the blood of the Son of Man and eat his flesh, don't look at the head knowledge. Don't not look at the heart knowledge. And when we look at the, the head knowledge, we're going to miss salvation. See, salvation is a heart thing. God want to transform our heart. The heart is a center of our being. So when the heart takes place, that's where everything starts. It's your heart, not your head. It's your heart. The Bible said uh, the heart is a treacherous creatures above them. Who can know God? So God knows our heart. The blood of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Heart. If, if, if a person trying to get, if a person want to get, get, get married, and if a man does, if your man does not say anything, and you are engaged to him, and if he don't say nothing at all, ask God to open to open his mouth so he can speak. Cause everything gonna be in the heart. <laughs> Amen. He take the heart. He take the heart. Amen. And also, when you're hungry, happy now. Happy are those that are hungry and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Amen. And number, and number eleven, when you're hurting, a righteousness. The Bible say that we should look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, for the joy was set before him, endure the cross, despite the shame, sit at the right, right hand of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, our, and the last one, this is, last, this is the last final one I'm done. Our highlights in life. Our highlights in not life is not our degrees. It's not accomplishment. But Jesus Christ say that they, was, they came back happy for Jesus, happy for the, all the angels and subject up to them. But Jesus Christ said, no, rejoice that your name is written in heaven. So highlights is our name is in heaven, period. He said, don't rejoice for the, the spirits are subject unto you, but rejoice for your name is written into heaven. The joy of being a Christian. That's it. Amen.